Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about dividing decimals with up to two decimal places. We have a question here. How many 25 centavos are there in 15 pesos and 50 centavos? A. 12 B. 17 C. 38 and D. 62 our equation will be 15.50 divided by 0 0.25. Why do we have 0 0.25? Because if we convert 25 centavos to pesos, so that will become 0 0.25. 15.50 is our dividend, 0 0.25 is our divisor, and whatever is the answer, that will be our quotient. It is important that in dividing decimal, we have to change the divisor to a whole number if it is a decimal. How many places do we have to move to make this one a whole number? That's 1 and 2. Whatever we did in our divisor, we have to do that also in our dividend. That's 1 and 2. Our new equation will become 1550 divided by 25 is equal to length we are ready to divide that's 1550 divided by 25 we'll try six if there are six 25s in 155 yes we can write six six times 25 is 150 then minus we have 50 there are two 25s in 50 then our final answer for this question is 62. Therefore, there are 62 25 centavos in 15 pesos and 50 centavos. We have the next question here. What is the quotient when 44 and 72 hundredths is divided by 20 hundredths? Is it A, 222 and 6 tenths? B, 223 and 6 tenths, C, 233 and 6 tenths, and D, 333 and 6 tenths. Our equation is 44 and 72 hundredths divided by 20 hundredths. Since our divisor is a decimal, we have to change it into a whole number. We have to move two places in our divisor and as well as our dividend. Our new equation is 4,472 divided by 20 is equal to blank. We're ready to divide. 4,472 divided by 20. There are two 20s in 44. We can write 2 there, then subtract. 44 minus 40 is equal to 4. Bring down 7. How many 20s are there in 47? That's 2. That's 2 times 20 is equal to 40. Then subtract 47 minus 40 is equal to 7. Bring down 2. There are 3 20s in 72. We can write there 3. Then 3 times 20 is equal to 60. Then subtract. That's 12. We can add 0, decimal point, and then write 0. Bring down 0. That will become 120. There are 6 20s in 120. 20 times 6 is equal to 120, then subtract. We get 0. Our final answer for this question is letter B. That's 223 and 6 tenths. We have another question. A big package weighs 2 and 10 hundreds kilograms. If Mom Hazel decided to pack the contents into small packages of 7 tenths kilograms each, how many packages will she make? Is it A, three thousandths, B, three hundredths, C, three tenths, and D, three? Our equation for this question is two and ten hundredths kilograms divided by seven tenths kilograms is equal to blank. We have one decimal point in our divisor. We have to move also one in our dividend to make it a whole number. Our new equation is 21.0 divided by 7 or simply 21 divided by 7. We're ready to divide. 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. It means our final answer for this question is letter D. There are 3 packages of 
seven tenths kilograms that Mom Hazel will have. We have another one here. Gasoline costs 48 pesos and 75 centavos per liter. Sinen paid the gasoline boy 1,608 pesos and 75 centavos. How many liters of gasoline were pumped into Sinen's car? A. 29 B. 32 C. 33 and D. 35 Our equation for this question is 1,608 pesos and 75 centavos divided by 48 pesos and 75 centavos. We have to move two decimal places to make our divisor a whole number, same as true with our dividend. Our new equation is 160,875 divided by 4,875. And we're ready to divide. How many 4,875 are there in 16,000? 87 so let's try three if we can have three there yes we can have three because there are three four thousand eight hundred seventy five in sixteen thousand eighty seven we're ready to subtract okay we still get the same number that's fourteen thousand six hundred twenty five so we can write three Next, 3 times 4,875 is 14,625, then subtract. It means one thing, our answer is 33, and that is letter C. There are 33 liters of gasoline were pumped into Sinan's car. Now, it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. The question is, how many 15 hundreds are there in 675 thousands i'll be waiting for your answer thank you Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!